hopefully this is working i i blue screened like proper full-on full-on blue screen so that's new i can also hear my own voice through my headset which i would never ever want to do things i can't stand the sound of my own voice and now my volume mix has crashed oh, for fuck's sake. On computers, computers just by this point should be super stable things rather than continually adding in more and more features. I, I just want them to work. I don't need new features. I don't need my laptop will recognize my face and type in my password for heaven's sake. Okay, I'm just going to stop clicking on shit until Unity has decided to boot. It's weird, when my PC crashes, um, it gets really hot because the fans stop, but the circulation continues. And so it, my PC's lit up bright red and it don't let me know it's hot. And I can't get my other computer. Just go. I've had this a lot of, like Mouse Without Borders just not working. And seriously, all oh, right, now try and show you it's working. Okay, mute myself. Thank fuck for that. Okay, I can't actually see the restream chat because that's on my other PC. Um, and well, I'm mostly done for the day anyway. Um, uh. But yeah, Mouse Up Borders is just going, nah. I can see it. It's there. I mean, maybe. It's hard to tell. It's the wrong world. Because I don't have a mouse on this other PC. Uh, I exclusively use mouse that border to access it. And over the last couple of days, I've had a couple of times where it's just gone, meh, no. Uh, and that really misses the point of uh, Mouse at Borders. The point is I never, ever, ever have to uh, touch the machine physically. I only ever deal with it remotely. It's what as I said, if Unity would just allow me to iteratively update that reflection probe, that would be perfect. That would solve this. I mean, you'd stop and it would kind of iterate, but rather than this jerk, 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 which just... The other option is potentially to move it only when we're... I, 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 there are things I could do. Um, yeah, I'm still not really seeing any lights, Todd. So if I put a light there, I'm not seeing any specularness on that at all. Which, if you want it to look like it's painted in um, a matte paint, is fine. But if you want to look like it's painted in the gloss paint, that doesn't work. So I do a green, a red, and a blue. And I get rid of all of these uh, nice lights. So I should be seeing, and just to compare, if I pop that down there, I would expect to see some nice tight highlights which I'm not so that shows what I know doesn't it are they too close oh yeah because these kind of lights don't work inside rooms that would be what that is 
two seconds. Um, can someone message me on Discord just saying, yes, it's working or no, it's not, because I need to go and wiggle my mouse or something in a sec. But I don't actually know if I'm talking to myself at this point. Now I don't know if Unity's crashed on me. Oh, it's because it's no longer a room, because of that block, right. Now it's a room. Okay. <clears throat> Let me try all that, everything I said again. So, I would expect to see a tight blue, red, and green highlight on that. Um, must be a bit bright. And part of it is I don't really know what, what we're, we're planning to look. I mean, should stuff look shiny? Yeah, you can see see the highlights there. That's what I'm expecting to see is um, the tight round highlights. I've got the reflection map going as well. It's not bad, is it? It pretty much lines up. I'm not seeing any specularity there at all. Um... And I'll just check. So I take that and duplicate that. But I'll apply that on the mirror texture. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing fundamentally stupid about the way the machine's been made. Yeah, see, that's why I see that tight red highlight. Let's turn the reflection probe off as well. So I'm not getting reflection probes and. Uh, yeah, so this is a pure mirror. So the, all this will show me is specular highlights and reflection probes. Um, but that said, I need to be doing one of those things. Oh, yeah, so that's pure reflection probes at that point. That's at 95. That's at 90. So that's reflection probes and specular. Yes, you see I'm seeing blue highlights there. I'm seeing uh, red. Probably if I'm put yeah, and the green. So I'm seeing it's shiny in the sense of specular highlights. Whereas this, whereas this doesn't seem to have any of that which is due to the smoothness because we're using a yeah I don't think a specular can do it spec that's that's a white specular no, I can do it What's the other one? It's detail set up. Don't really know what the difference is there. But this is what I hate about the new Unity PBR system. It's just annoying, does seem a bit childish, but it's just frustratingly stupid the way it works. Like the concept of all I want is big highlights, small highlights, bright highlights, dim highlights. I don't want a highlight to be a fancy shape between small and bright and large and dim. I might want a large bright one or a small dim one. I don't have those options. I'm going to reboot my freaking PC, aren't I? Yeah. 
But yeah, I would expect if they put a pop it, would pop it there, I would expect to see an obvious red highlight of some sort. If it's shiny, I mean, if it's not shiny, and that's not really a question we've settled on is how shiny is stuff. I also noticed that we had that yellow glow and it just disappeared. I don't really know what that's about. I wish I knew. I overall though, I think it looks good. Um, I don't know if we want to spend more time on it to make sure it's really good, and then do all future machines in the same way. I'm gonna go and see if I can make my own PC burst back into life. Okay, well, I pressed the power button and it brought it out of sleep mode. That, well, put screen out of sleep mode. The cell has not. Uh... It's still installing device drivers for my mouth. Oh, there we go. work can I actually access all oh, right all I had to do is click apply on the other machine <sighs> yeah it's hold on. I mean part of it I mean is as I said uh, a a stake in the sand for this is how we want it to look this is this is this is it if you think the paint shouldn't be gloss and shouldn't be shiny say the paint shouldn't be gloss and shiny it's just that right now I think if we wanted it to be gloss and shiny I'm not sure we could so I do want to make sure we have the ability to make stuff look the way we want it. Overall, what I've done today is pretty freaking cool. It does look good. It animates well. I, I'm, I'm definitely pleased with it. Really, really am. No, CMDR, thank you, but it's definitely not ray tracing. But yeah, it's worth Todd um, uh, having a world and then just keep that world. You should never have to create a new world. There's no reason ever. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Database and image is malformed. Uh -oh. This might be a very brief end to the stream because I'll have to get latest on uh right clean up can't do that about the uh 
clean up can't it's it's main for it's malformed oh isn't that, isn't that what you're supposed to be doing dora what are you doing ah. hey stop pulling stuff off shelves you little shit bag You pull them all on yourself and you look stupid now. I love my cat. I love my cat. You know I can legally have you killed, right? I'm allowed to do that. If I say, hello, Batman, kill this cat, they'll charge me a hundred quid, but they will kill you. So, speaking of, uh, speaking of that, uh, I saw a great graph that pointed out Bloomberg has spent 400 million so far on his presidential campaign if Bernie Sanders gets in and enacts his campaign goal next year Bloomberg would pay 5 billion dollars in tax All right so Bloomberg has spent 400 million um, in order to save 5 billion what can we take away from this then there's one important fact to take away from this Two, maybe. Either A, hitmen don't exist, or B, hitmen are way more expensive than the movies would have you believe. What, 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 what's this bollocks? Check this out at another place. Oh, God. You're joking, right? I mean, I can do. It's because I blue screen. That's what's happened. It's, it's, uh, oh, great. Uh, uh, I hope it's in the letter. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Maybe? Yay. Right. And all I need to do is copy across the... Uh, it's ever it's been doing the rounds a lot. The amount, the sheer amount of money that uh, Bloomberg is spending, which see, you know, it's insane amounts of money. So you'd think, uh, uh, but more importantly, it's really not. Like not compared to how much money the man has got. But my first thought when seeing he spent four hundred million in order to ensure that Bernie doesn't get the ability to tax the rich like well they can't be real also honestly in america given the state of it it boggles my mind everyone isn't going to go you know what let's let let's select bernie in let's see what happens it can't be any worse i mean britain did that and then we... it's uh we've now obviously brexit um oh it's brilliant so you know we've had all these these horrendous storms the british government but get this there the councils are applying for European funding to help with the flood cleanup. Just blows my fucking mind that we vote to leave. But like, but if we can have some money while we're still in, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Uh oh. I think that might be the end of the stream, as this could be several hours. Zebra, for $400 million, right, I could buy a child and indoctrinate them to kill Bernie Sanders, and that child could not speak English or any language other than the language I made up for the child to understand. 
it is four hundred million dollars is an insane amount of money. Just in case the NSA listing, I am not advocating killing Bernie Sanders. I just thought Bloomberg has spent a lot of money. Um, yeah, so I've got four minutes left on this print, and then what I'll do is I will assemble the spider bro. I'm just gonna have to leave this top. This could literally be many, many, many hours. Ever said my point was if I'm that rich, I could have 20 years ago or 30 years ago had my assassin child. If, if you've seen Gemini Man, literally that. Uh, you'll find that in three minutes and 45 seconds what I'm printing. Yeah, so I think what's going to happen now, it's, it's updating my journal to match what's there. Um, but it's got 15 gigabytes to do and it's done nearly one. Um, yeah. Anyway, I, I'm just saying, so he, he, he could have many years ago organised a child. Uh, murdering but a child that doesn't speak english a child that has never seen anyone or understands any of this this child could only exist via computer screen so he doesn't know who he's been uh recruited by literally the plot of gemini man if you guys saw it bora if you knock something else off i'm just going to shave i'm every time you're naughty i'm just going to shave a bit of you off and then you'll be a bald kitty won't you You'll find out in three minutes, 16 seconds now. So as I said uh, before, a lot of being a, pro a game developer is just about watching dialogue boxes fill up. It's just about just waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, and, and to a degree, if I could buy a faster computer, I would. But there's not much I can do. We're already running on very fast disks. I've already got enormous amounts of RAM. There's I've already got a fast CPU. There's very little I can do. This is just down to back row. We're working at nine megabytes a second, which is maybe not that fast. Well, while that's doing, I can do one thing. Um, I can't get any changes, though, so can't do that. Um, uh, format. Hmm. Where are they stored? It's under resources, dynamic textures, ores, and it's going to be called copper ore for. To be fair, Devtron, if I could go to the future and get a faster computer, you know what? Genuinely, fuck writing games. <laughs> See you in the future. Um, I have avoided spraying the cat with um, water bottles as punishment. Um, my other cat, who's currently asleep in a stupid place as well, he, he's, um, he's long-haired. So sometimes I do have to spray him with um, shampoo or uh, oils for his coat. Uh, and right now I can do it. He's quite happy for it. He's just like, hey, I'm being loved. Cool. But... If he treats water spray bottles as a punishment, 
then I wouldn't be able to treat him. So I have specifically avoided doing that. Honestly, in this case, I don't think there's any particular point in doing it twice. I might as well just, if that's out, then keep them all in sync. Or run one dot. Four, four gigs done. Hopefully, assuming that works, um, that will probably be it. By the way, I will I will make a build. I'll do a little bit of gluing in thirty five seconds. I have to wait for it to cool. And then I'll print a different knob. Maybe I'll probably print my knob overnight. Yeah. Hopefully, though, this ore extractor, hopefully, A, won't crash, and B, will um, have... Well... Oh, I know that is. It's something else entirely. Oh, it's finished. Hooray! So hopefully it'll all align as well. Dunk, dunk, dunk. And yes, it's it's pulling up. Um, so Todd, if you're there, I think you are. Why is copper not as nice as the rest? That looks really cool, by the way. In fact, in fact, hold on, let me cut that one up. Let me also put down. Uh, uh, put down the other. That's a, that's going to make quite a cool screenshot. Iron and lithium. And if I put the cutter head down. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's awesome. I can give them power. Mm 
then I just need to uh, That's cool. I'm liking that. But why is copper so dark? I don't understand. I think copper should have green in it too. And I'm sure it used to. Uh, I should do that one too. But that's pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. I just think actually I can probably Oh it'll be in this one, that'll be right. So when we link to no, when we gain an owner when can we do this? Yeah, that's Todd and Andy. I hope you're. I hope you're both watching. I don't know if you are. That's that's looking pretty sweet. Uh, Todd, I'm ninety percent sure those conveyor runs are not arrows, but we can only see the top half of the chevron, so they just look like arrows in the wrong direction. But yeah. Where is it looping now? I am pleased. Oh, I can't get latest, Todd. I, I have to wait for my SBN to resync against the database. So. Oh, really? Wait, hold on, let me just check. I'm not I'm still up putting it. Uh, no, I'm putting it 500 kilobits. Should be fine. Okay, this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna do, and then I need to get ready because I have I have social obligations this weekend. I'm just trying to work out at which point here. Um, to do check performance. What? We don't have an owner, really? Yeah, we do. It's there. Sharp. Yeah. Well, the home play is just false. Uh, that should now be the other half.
I need to pop in the hoppers here briefly though, otherwise it will jam out. So actually just empty them all out. Uh, it does not appear to be working though. But yeah, definitely, I, I should I make a screw with me. Maybe making it kind of Trillo. Trillo. Todd. Uh, copper or full should be brighter and with more green. Ah, here we go. There is no render. Oh, yes. No, there isn't. Oh, wait, suddenly I've got 10 messages from Todd. Wow. I... Well, yeah, you're on Twitch, so pfft, whatever. Why the fuck would you use Twitch? See, some of that all looks really good. I, th I hope you're still there, Todd, because that looks shiny. That like There's no reflection maps going on, I probably, but that looks great. I'm not saying everything should look shiny. I am just saying we should be able to look shiny if we want to. Yeah, that looks great. Uh, yes. Well, they are one by three by one. I always say it looks like one by what, like like you might have been mistaken. Ah, 
Um, this should be in tonight's build, by the way. Um, I don't know what... Well, this will be in the next build. I don't know if I can pick a build today because of the... Um, I'll talk... Andy, you fail. Uh, n neither. It's three separate machines. So you've got the uh, you've got the motor, and then you've got the cutting head, and I want to see titanium, and you've also got the drill, and they'll all align automatically and start digging. And then as it works, it begins to fill up with ore at the back. Um, yeah, well, unfortunately, as I said earlier, I'm limited in what I can achieve. I need to make sure I'm achieving good things. Um, the rotation on that is a simple incrementation of a number. If you've got hundreds of these, you can't really have lots of them. So, yeah, it'd be cool if it sort of dug away and things, but eh, not going to happen. We can't... Uh, Todd, in the... Seven years we've been working on this project. Have you ever had a height map work? I mean, genuinely, seriously. I think the answer is a no, isn't it? Well, I'll, I'll slap a height map on there. There you go. Off, on. Yeah. The weird thing is, if I look up, uh, um, but it's weird, isn't it? Like, because parallax shaders are really powerful. That's awful. Um, yeah, there you go. That's done using depth mapping, and I don't understand why Unity is so fucking awful. At it. That's a re yeah, relief mapping. Uh, Dave, they, 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 this is the minecart renderer. But yeah, Unity should have Unity's parallax shading should look like that, but it doesn't because I have absolutely no idea why not. I mean, you can see there, there we go, stop, excellent. So you can see, if I, as I drag it, minimum, maximum. It just doesn't work. And I don't know why. No, I don't think these shaders have changed between... Uh, we are going to 2018, that we, we are. But I don't think these shaders have changed. But that's, that's kind of what I would like out of it. Um... Uh, I mean, maybe we can grab a new sh shader for it. I mean, they do exist. Again, this is the sort of thing that should just be part of Unity. Um, I mean, to be honest, I don't. I'm not really unhappy with the ore. Um, you know what? 
you're right though, aren't you? Because that you see is on the right hand side. It's it's like they're inside out. I mean, to be fair, you did them. Um, I can't actually set the normal to a negative number. I don't think can I? Oh, I can. There you go. I've just inverted the normal. So you reckon it should look like that? That doesn't work either. Now they look inverted, but at least the correct side is glowing. Because now the inside of that slope is glowing. And if I flip that back to one, I mean, to be fair, I've been still glowing there. Uh, I don't, I'm not, maybe, I mean, I'm not that unhappy with them. Don't forget what you've just said is, hey, if we just spend eight times the polygon count on them, yeah, well, um, course it would look better uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be able to not satisfactory i like frame rate but part of what we want is these textures will go and these ones will replace so these will form the basis of the new uh high resolution texture system but I'm, I'm definitely happy i think that that does look good but yeah you are right though the normal map does appear to be weird but i mean looking at the normal map i don't know what you spat oh hold on that's not what it looks like in unity Right, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, Todd, but I'm, I'm spotting a significant difference between those two images. That I mean, the one that's got no blue in it, that's at all. Yeah, well, you say God only knows, you, you're going to have to uh, embrace your godlike powers because obviously this folder here, that folder there needs to, to sing to this game. Um, I don't have a time scale for when I'm going to be doing the, um, God damn. I don't have time scale when I'm going to be doing the texture thing. I mean, mostly you need a bunch of textures ready to roll and then I will, um, that will hook it up. So what will happen is you won't create an atlas. I will dynamically create an atlas at runtime. So I'll take the existing atlas, scale it, and then start to replace textures inside it. But it should mean that, like, things like this. To be fair, when Fortress Craft came out, these were very high-resolution textures. Um, and they, they're, they're, they, I am very glad we've got the nice bump mapping. But they are fairly low-resolution these days, certainly for 4K. It's not too bad there. It's mostly when you're in a... It's mostly when you're, you know, you're here. These look shiny now. One day. Right, so I'm going to stop there. I can't commit. Um, and I can't make a build because of my blue screen, which crashed something. But I did promise you a uh, small distraction. Unless we can do this without Dora trying to join in. Yeah, good luck on that one. Dora, I'm going to the door. Just stay where you are. Might spend a minute or so arranging the camera. 
doesn't fall over. Okay, so yeah, here's the uh, here's the knob I printed earlier, and here is the much bigger knob. But we have got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is he very cute for that? Eight spider bot legs. Now they've been gluing for quite some hours most of since yesterday so hopefully i should be able to take the bands off and that should be fine um if you are a patron by the way i will get you a build of this uh, probably monday at this point uh i said i've got uh i know it's my birthday last weekend but a lot of people can't come up on my birthday so they're up so i've got friends up this weekend uh, Right, so hopefully we're going to be able to build a bottom. Oh, you're so cute! A bottom half spider bot. Now, how long this will last once this one notices? But first of all, now I haven't I haven't printed one of these before, so you and I are going to. Uh, Bless you. So this is these are called tree supports. So hopefully these should pop off nice and easily. Dora, did you just wake up and just bat anything you could? I should have some. I should have some get off the keyboard. Some flash cutters, this should look easy. It doesn't help, I don't actually know what the model's supposed to look like, so I'm not sure which bits I'm supposed to be cutting and which bits I'm not. Look. Oh, right, I'm not supposed to pull that bit off, that was about to pull off. Okay. Tree supports are really clever, so there's kind of this weird organic growth that sort of grows around your model that means that it's dead easy to pop it apart except sometimes when it's not but i have done some quite big models and had them pop apart all in one go oh there we go cool. once again though while i'm doing this thank you for patron support i hope you are excited about the new machines the new machine, even if it works like the old machine. Uh, Todd and Andy and I will carry on this one because I'd like this to be sort of a um, a goalpost for for how we want the game to look and how we want the game to be. There we go. That's just pulling it. Just pops right off. To be fair, I'm, I'm usually quite careful, but this stuff is so strong. Uh, I'd have to really be incredibly um, rough with it to accidentally just break something I shouldn't. Ah, oh, I need to bring up what to blow up again. Okay, yeah, there's a big thing under there. Okay. But the supports pop off easily. There we go. Oh, yeah. It amazes me I still see a lot of the big printers online still using standard support. Tree supports are so, so much better. In this case, I feel though it could have perhaps been a little oh, there we go. It could have been a little smarter in how the uh, supports work. 
Um, Andy and I haven't looked at this model yet, so we'll probably do some work on the model itself to make it easier to print. And really, I probably should have just printed it that way up, not this way up. And yes, Zebra, you were quite correct, is of course a spider blaster, a spider bot blaster. So this is under blaster. I got it. Oh, there we go. Then just the whole thing just. Oh shit, it snapped. <laughs> oh, sad face. Well, I mean, it still looks cool. Snapped or not. Should probably be able to glue it back together, but yeah, that that's quite a small joint, um, and there's a lot of uh, lot of support. Probably printing it that way or that way would have been a good idea. That way would have given me bed support, and then a minimal amount of tree support for this. But basically, Andy is is beefing up stuff that's got issues. I mean I can glue this but I won't be able to glue it on the screen. Well I can but you won't see the results. So we'll pop that to one side uh, and I'm hoping at least one person is slightly interested in this because I know I am. Now I've no idea how strong this is going to be without glue. So I'm not currently gluing it. Um, so I'm going to probably need a very awkward set of supports in order to most of these are not very tight so we've just got sloppy holes and that's not good oh no one of the requests i've had said of andy is i want all the holes in this whole thing to be three times deeper and all the pegs three times longer once I, once I think it's got some support, no, no. Otherwise, what I need to do is glue like three of them in so it supports itself and the rest. I don't know how to manage this. Come on, Spider Bro, you can do it. It's just like the real one with his legs coming off. So, yeah, the part of the problem is that the whole thing is supported on, on this tiny little peg so Andy needs to make these deeper because if they slot it in deeper it will be it will be fine but he didn't do that and he's like oh yeah I can do that and I'm like yeah I know you can but but you need to and you should have once this is done the next step is to bet so the body itself has got some changes I've requested but not much and then the next oh shit this is huge and then the next step is the next step is the head that said andy's done the head in such a way that it doesn't revolve and i think i want to get that changed before i go any further i'm just hoping if i get enough of these in it will support the weight enough but i think what i might have to do is glue some in <laughs> Uh, for the support, you've got a basic CAD printer. For the support of what? Unfortunately, Andy designed this 10 years ago, and when he designed it 10 years ago, he didn't really ever think about, would it be an easy thing to 3D print? Oh, getting there. See, now, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I've invented the world's worst Jenga game. Now, okay, I'm going to prob... I'm going to... I'm not going to glue them in, though I want to, because... Um, part of the next step is the the head and i think i want the head to be able to rotate i think andy's done it as a solid bit that's perfect though andy so full marks there and the gun goes on well i'm too busy with the gun the gun so 
thank you guys for watching. I hope you are all excited about Fortress Craft 2. I know I am. Although I am unfortunately very aware of how much work there is to do on it. And there is a lot of work to do on it. Um, as I said earlier, Todd and I have come to the agreement that it's, it's more important to be able to show people what's in the game than to actually have more stuff in the game. So if we end up cutting 20 machines, but spend that time marketing and making cool videos, I'm afraid that will make us more money. More money then means we can put 20 machines back in. Yes, I, I could print something. It's it mean, you mean something exactly whatever it is, exactly that height. I mean, I'll say that's a little bit lower than that. This is so, so sad. That is. Oh. However, it looks like I've done a light bulb, so that was a fail. Yeah, I don't have anything to hand. It's the right height, I don't think. That's, that's taller. Oh well, it's not a, it's not a problem. I just want to make sure that this rota is rotatable. So the spider bot head should rotate on here. It's weird because it doesn't look very big until you get it all together and suddenly it's massive. Um, if I do manage to get this to glue together, uh, to stick together, which I don't think I will be, because, yeah, these pegs are just too small, they're too short to support this much leverage. That one's nice and tight. If I can get three tight ones, the rest will be fine. That one's not tight. That one is not tight. No, yeah, that looks right. If I can just find a third tight one. But what I might do is drop a little bit of blue tack on them or something. That has two tight ones. There we go. Now I should, in theory, these shouldn't need to do anything. Yeah. It looks so cool. Oh, that's actually off the table. That one's off the table. That really does look awesome. Um, but because I'm a bit tit, oh, I might just be able to get this one in. We can do this, we can do this. No! I can't do this. Oh, um, uh, this was supposed to be a, temp a thermometer, which works as a thermometer, but then changes back. Um, this is a little charging box that tells me how much, uh, how much current everything's drawing. So I'm going to go and glue some stuff together then, guys. Um, thank you once again for watching. It's appreciated that you keep me company whilst uh, Todd and I try and work out what the fuck Unity is up doing, which I swear is half of our lives. I will be around all next week. It will be a split between Nomancer and Fortress Craft 2. Uh, for those of you who are playing Nomancer, if you haven't written a review, please write a review, please. It doesn't have to say anything other than, you know, this is a game and I like it. It, it really doesn't. I just need enough reviews to get a rating. It's still killing us that we're not. So if that is something you can do, that would be brilliant. And I will love you at least for an afternoon, maybe, maybe two afternoons. So please, please, please write some reviews if possible. Um, if you don't have no answer, why not check it out? I like it. Todd and I, we did um, what, an hour and a half playthrough the other day. And, and genuinely, I really like it. And uh, something I, I said on Twitter, and it's hard to explain to a non-gamer, but a, a non-coder, non sorry. But most of the games I've worked on in my life, and I've shit over a hundred games, I haven't really enjoyed most of them. They're all right. You know, I'll play them, but I'm not like, yeah, I can't wait to go home and play some more. And Todd's the same thing, like most of the games we've written, I think Todd will agree, we don't, not that we don't like the games, we do like the games, 
um, and we've made the games as best as we can, and we've made the games as enjoyable as we can, but they're not really the sort of game I would I would see on the Steam store and go, you know what, I'm going to grab that. It's just not. Whereas No Man's Sir is. So to a great degree, it's, it's pained us that No Man's Sir hasn't done as well as we were hoping, just because if it wasn't my game, I would still be hoping it would do well. It'd be one of the games that I would recommend to my friends, going, have you played this? It's great. We can play it online. Let's play it, you know. So, like Dungeon Defenders, same thing with Dungeon Defenders. Um, after a while of playing Dungeon Defenders, you start linking it to your friends going, hey, would you like to play this game? I'm stuck. Please come and play with me. And um, No Mancer most certainly has a little bit, a little bit of that about it. So, yeah, a little bit disappointed it's not done better, just purely because I feel it is a game that deserves to do better than it has. And I'm just trying to glue this gun together. So I've got the glue on. I'm just trying to get a rubber band around to hold it for the next 20 hours or whatever. It's the wrong type of glue, really. It's not sticky glue. I don't think I can uh, hold it there. But I shall stop the stream about now then. Um, Please, you know, feel free to chat my Discord. Feel free to, if anything happens about Fortress on social media, Twitter, Discord, Reddit, Instagram, wherever, please let me know. I do try and keep up with everything, but sometimes stuff happens, like that conversation about how big the Unity world is. Um, and other than that, guys, I will see you all on Monday if I don't see you before. And there will be... There'll be more streaming as we go on. Uh, Todd, I will put you directly once this is finished uh, synchronising. So cheers for watching, guys, and I'll see you all soon enough.